I did just want to pop on here real quick to say that we are almost at 5,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. Your subscriptions, your views, your comments, they're what keep me going and I'm so excited to bring you more content. I have a lot of really fun partnerships coming up that I cannot wait to share with you. Every time you comment and tell me what kind of video you're looking for, I put it on my list and hopefully I'll be able to make that content that will help you out in your life or business. I am going to be giving away a gift basket full of lots of goodies from my store. It's going to be worth $250 and I'm going to be picking one winner um, for that gift basket again worth $250 when we reach 5,000 subscribers. So please do consider subscribing. Um, everybody that is a subscriber will be in the drawing for the $250 gift basket. So consider subscribing if you like this content and good luck to everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Marie and I teach you how to. Today's video, you are coming with me to Macy's. We're gonna be doing a pop-up at the Winter Garden Macy's in Orlando. I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to take you guys with me to show you what a pop-up at Macy's is all about. So I was placed in the pavilion, which is right at the entrance, which was really nice. I got to greet and see a lot of customers. As you can see, I brought my signature collection, um, and I also brought my birthday candles because everybody always has a birthday. Um, I also brought my four ounce travel tins, sold a couple of those. People always like um, another size option. And then of course I brought my sign. I brought my um, square reader and my iPad. That's how I processed all of my transactions. And then I also brought um, my wholesale catalogs because you never know who you're going to run into. So that was important. I brought my candle care cards as well as bags um, to, you know, package all of my transactions and of course tissue paper. And then I did also bring these gift cards for everybody who made a purchase. Here are some of the customers that I interacted with. I didn't have a chance to turn on my camera for every single transaction, but these are just some of the ones that I remember to turn on my camera for. Hey guys, so I have just gotten back to my studio from Orlando and I wanted to give you a recap of how the pop-up went and also give you information on how to partner with a major retailer like Macy's to do a pop-up of your own. So the pop-up itself was a lot of fun. I met some really amazing people and always keep in mind that when you're doing these kinds of events, it's all about the connections you're making with the managers, the business owners. You really want to have good connections with them and I'll explain why in a little bit. The pop-up itself, the way it works is this was a brand new store in Winter Garden, which is near Orlando. And I was contacted by them to see if I wanted to be a part of a pop-up. And what's great is a lot of people might not know this, but as an independent brand, there are a lot of large retailers that would love for you to come in for a day or two and do a pop-up in their store. Not only does it help them with driving traffic and giving their customers something a little extra and a little special, but it helps you to get your name out there and to have events to go to where you can meet clients face to face, you can get great feedback, and of course you can make some money. So it is a win-win situation. Now Macy's does this pop-up partnership and I will include the link down below um, where you can fill out an application that they have 
and then there's certain stores in certain states where they allow the pop-ups. Be sure if you're interested to fill out that application, they'll contact you. There are some things you need to know, some things you need to fill out, etc. But hopefully you'll be able to do a pop-up at a Macy's store near you. I did also want to say that if you are um, subscribed to my Instagram, you'll also see that I've done this kind of pop-up at West Elm. Um, West Elm is another store that loves to help out um, small and indie brands. So if you have a West Elm in your area, definitely do reach out to the manager. Um, give them a call and just say, hey, I'm interested in doing a pop-up. You kind of um, work together to see what day would work best. Usually they do it on the weekends because it's when they have the most traffic. Um, and they'll be happy to host you for a pop-up. Now, as I said before, the reason that these relationships that you get with these managers are so important is once you go do your pop-up and you arrive on time, you set everything up, you are you know, very cordial and kind to the guests that are coming in, um, you sell your product and everybody loves it and you have a great time, you start to build a relationship with that manager. The reason that that's important and you want them to ask you back is because these stores are gonna be so busy during the holidays. And what you want is for them to ask you back for a holiday pop-up. And I've already secured three of them with West Elm and Macy's. So it is super, super important. What you want is those stores are so busy during the holidays and you definitely want that business. You want to be there during the holidays when everybody's buying all their gifts, you set up, they've taken care of the traffic for you, you sell all your holiday wares and you have a fantastic pop-up. Now, the other wonderful thing about partnering with Macy's or West Elm or any other large retailer is it's free. That's the big part, it's free. So basically it's free publicity to you. It does not cost any money to partner with these major retailers and do a pop-up in their store. And that's the best part, honestly, is the fact that it literally costs you nothing um, to go out there and they, they'll always have a table ready for you. You literally come, you set your table up, and you just interact with customers and that's what you do all day. Um, it, the length of time kind of depends on the retailer. For example, with West Elm, I was there for about five hours where with um, Macy's, you do make the commitment to be there all day. So 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and of course you get breaks and everything. So don't think you're gonna be stuck at a table for 10 or 11 hours, um, but you do make the commitment to be there all day. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said, these relationships are really, really important. So it's important that you follow all their directions, that you give them whatever paperwork, you sign it, you fill it out correctly. And again, just be someone who is very open to um, interacting with the guests that come in and being you know, very hospitable. Uh, even if they're not buying anything from you, if you can point them to the direction of a bathroom or something like that, managers love to see that because you are adding to the environment of the store in a positive way and they love that. So be sure, um, like I said, reach out to your local West Elm if you have one, ask to speak to the manager and just ask them about doing a pop-up. And then um, there is an actual website and application to fill out for Macy's, so I will have that link below. Another thing to keep in mind with these um, impromptu pop-ups, as I call them, is um, they really are just a way to get your name out there. Um, I don't want anybody signing up for these and thinking you're gonna sell thousands and thousands of dollars in merchandise. Um, I mean, if you do, fantastic, that's amazing. Um, but I mean, I sold a few hundred dollars and that's really all I was expecting to. I made, um, since it was three and a half hours from my house, I did have to stay in a hotel, so I made that money back. Gas money, I made back. So. For me, it was a really fun experience. And again, it was me building relationships with these store managers so that they would invite me in the future to do more events and more pop-ups. That was the really important thing for me. Also, I got great feedback on my candles and I met some really amazing new customers. And like I said, it was a ton of fun and totally worth it. But I just don't want you to go into this thinking that you're gonna you know, do a pop-up at a Macy's or a West Elm and you're gonna sell $3,000 worth of candles. That's not very likely. 
Um, but again, you do it for the experience, you do it um, for building relationships, and hopefully that you'll be able to go back during the holidays and really make some money then. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said, please consider subscribing because we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. And when we do, I'm gonna give away a gift basket that is worth $250 full of goodies. And I'm so excited to do that. I have a lot of new content coming up um, and some really, really exciting things that I'm working on. So please do stay tuned. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.